All eyes will be on Nigeria's bonds market today, where the debt management office is scheduled to offer 150 billion naira across four tenors. So what can we expect from the auction? Bayo Ogundare is a team member of the Treasury coverage at Access Bank. He joins me from Lagos for this conversation. Uh, a pleasure to have you join us for this conversation, Dio. So shall we start by having you uh, talk us through what or how you expect the market would respond to this uh, bond auction? Okay, um, good afternoon again. Yes, yeah, so we um, had a calm trading session uh, between um, yes, Monday and yesterday. Um, obviously, as uh, market participants shift towards today's bond auction. So um, we're just expecting um, the markets to stay quiet. And um, we also expect the auction to be oversubscribed as, as, as there's some um, increased activity. Uh, increased activity. Um, yeah, so it will be oversubscribed. So a quiet market, you say, but we're looking to see the bond auction oversubscribed. Where do you reckon investors are showing the most interest within the market space at this time? Um, well, uh, yesterday we saw some um, demand over a number of securities along the mid and long tenured um, securities following the increase in our system liquidity. Um, so as a result, we saw yields, um, bond market yields drop about nine basis points. Um, to close at about 7%, 7%. And it was the same in the Treasury bill market as well, where we saw a few trades consummated um, along the short to mid automobiles yesterday. And um, we just expect that, given the increased liquidity, um, there will be some increased activity um, for the rest of the week. And Dayo, as expected, the CBN actually did intervene in the SME and Invincible segment, selling about uh, $100 million at around 3.86 Naira, 50 Kobo. How did the market also respond to this intervention from the central bank? Um, yeah, that's correct. I mean, it was largely, it was largely expected. Um, it's um, something the CBN continues to do on, on, a, on a weekly basis. And yes, they did sell $100 million at um, 386.5. The official rate has also remained stable at um, 381 levels, while the um, INE window rate um, did gain yesterday by about 23 COBO um, to close at three, around 388.17. So um, for the rest of the week, we just see some, um, we just see the market to remain stable, stable around these levels, and um, we'll look towards the retail auction results coming out on Friday. So, Daya, we did see the, uh, the the June oil receipts turn in some exciting news from Nigeria. And I saw that the market saw an expected uh, inflow uh, from the FAC allocations at the last um, trading activities. I'd like to know if this impacted the nature of FAC that turned into the market and to what extent did this have an impact on liquidity within the market environment? Yeah, so um, the liquidity actually um, increased, um, published by the CBN yesterday at about 455 billion opening. Uh, that was a result of largely the FAC allocation, but we also had coupon payments that came into the, the system as well. So as a result, um, we saw OBD and overnight rates uh, plunge by an average of 747 basis points to close at about 2.1 and 2.8% respectively. So the market is very liquid at the moment, and um, for the rest of the week, we just expect that rate to remain at these uh, low levels. So two to three more trading days to go before the end of the week. What's your outlook for the market in the immediate term? Um, like like I said, the on the fixed income side, um, we we might we will see some increase um, activity in the secondary market and um, investors who who have lost um, out on the bond auction today will look to cover their bids. Um, because of the increase in liquidity as well, we might see some select uh, demand on the Treasury bill side on um, some uh, maturities. And on the FX side, I mean, it's going to remain really stable for, for the rest of the week. 